What's good, everybody? It's KJO Gaming, and we're back with some more content. What did you expect? We're back with some Dying Light 2, Stay Human, and this is episode 38. Last time we left off, um, Jack Matt, right, found a recruit that gave us some information on a scientist that could hopefully help us out in finding our sister. However, we look at the journal real quick. Veronica, Dr. Veronica Ryan, who I necessarily don't remember, but apparently we met her in the very beginning. Um, she might know about a GRE database, and I need to find her. But it's a level 5 quest. Ooh, we get a renegade mask. That's kind of cool. Um, so we were just kind of picking up some side quests for right now. Um... Right now, we were just asking him about Bart. It just seems like the next person to talk about Bart isn't that far. When was the last time we talked to Luan? It's been a while, hasn't it? It has been a while. It must be just now getting dark. God, I hear PKs were butchered in the BNC Tower. I had a feeling Good it would evening, end the same Aiden. way as it did for the Night Runners. Any of you want to talk about Bart? You're slumped, so I guess not. How about you, boss? You look like you want to talk about Bart. I'm looking for Bart. Hmm, hasn't been here for a while. Might be watching Andy's kid. Andy? Been doing that more and more lately. Andy? Yeah, Bart's friend. Andy's got the cutest kid, Liam. The way Bart acts, you'd think that he was Liam's father. Uh, Bart and Andy him. must be a couple. Don't rightly know. I've only seen them when they brought Liam here. But you could ask around. Thanks for the tip. Okay. Now we gotta find someone else to ask, eh? Oh, it's you, bub. Hey, you know a guy named Bart? <laughs> of course. Is he here? I mean, he usually brings me books, and I'm excited for the next one. I see. I'm looking for him, actually. Damn. I really want to talk to Bart about the last book he loaned me. The Bhagavad Gita. Man. Some of the material in that book was, well... Challenging to say the least. He must be learning how to read. That's cool. <sighs> I'm assuming that's why it was challenging. Sometimes if I stay out too long, I get the feeling that there's no one left in the city. Alright. Somebody over here. You know where Bart is, bro. Hi, uh, looking for Bart. Can you tell me anything about him? Well, for one, you're not his type. Wait. Wait, what? Relax, honey. I was just pulling your leg. The look on yep. your face. I think there are a couple. My. To answer your question, I can tell you that Bart is as fine a man as I've ever known. Is this known. Andy? High praise, I know. But I'm not just talking his looks. He's brave, kind, caring, loves children. Especially Andy's son, Liam. Andy? Bart's bestie, Andy. Those two are like two peas in a pot. And Liam, he's, well... Like a spring pea, I guess. How Bart dotes on that boy. Hmm. So where can I find him? Probably at Andy's. They had a few of us up for some cool drinks just yesterday. Such kind souls. Up? Where? Andy's place is over there. Not far. You can get there quicker if you're any good at climbing. Yeah. <laughs> good to know. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. You tell those boys I said hi. Matter of fact, we are good at climbing. Quite good, in fact. Alright, where are we going? Oh, literally right here? Hmm. Fresh fingerprints in the dust on these keys. Someone was playing this recently. Hey, we got some throwing knives in here. Bro, are they like zombies? Don't tell me they're zombies. 
supposed to like climb in this dude's apartment. <laughs> I feel like we haven't crafted in a while. We do need to find more alcohol and stuff. We know that. Hmm. I bet I know who this belongs to. I can't be far. Liam's drawing. Nice. This is where we just jumped from. That's cool. Daddy, uncle, and me uncle okay so Andy's the dad Bart's the uncle I wonder why uncle alcohol perfect and food we'll take it more throwing knives take those huh Steve what does this mean? Who is that? Looks like I'm in luck. Let's have ourselves a little chat. Introductions are in order. Your Bart, I presume. Um. No. No. Uh, why do you ask? No, then you must be Andy. No. Nope. Wrong again. Then stop wasting my time, and tell me who you were. A competitor, apparently. Uh, so you're after Bart too? I am. Huh? She must be really Jones, and for what Bart stole, she's hiring any old Tom, Dick, or Hardy. I didn't realize this was a horse race either. Why? Normally situations like this piss me off. But if Moya hired us both, it means we're on the same side, and can share intel. So? Did you dig up and non Bert? But he's gonna want to kill Bart. Do we want Bart to die? I kind of want to hear Bart out, right? I don't think we want to work with this dude. Nada. Besides, not sure how being hired by the same person makes us partners suddenly. Then get the fuck out of my way and let me work. Back up, bro. This is my stuff. Back up. I want those drawings. Can't have them. But now how do we find out about Steve now that we didn't talk to him about it? Okay. So playing the piano. Archery. Okay, teaching them how to shoot a crossbow. So what do we do now? Find Steve. Meyer accused... Okay, where's the playing card with Steve on it? Steve's business card was the Joker from a deck of playing cards with his initial scribble on it. The Joker? Yeah, that's about Steve's speed. Steve, meet me in the fish eye. Okay, so we gotta go Stop. to the fish eye. Aiden here. You familiar with some guy named Steve? You mean Slippery Steve? What's he got to do with Bart? I don't like the sound of that. For sure, I know Steve. Haven't you met him? He comes to the canteen most nights. Stay close to your radio. I'll let you know when he shows up. You two can have a chat then. Thanks, Doc. Aiden out. I never believed that Night Runners were real. Okay. Well, is that gonna like come soon or? <laughs> There's a metro station. We need to do that. You know what? Let's do it while we're here. We're gonna wait for his call anyways. Um, 
Secure the metro station. It's only a level 2 quest. Give us some old world whiskey. And some skill points. We're almost leveled up in parkour. Um, I don't think we're going to be needing our grappling hook in here. If I'm being honest. Metro stations can serve as fast travel locations, but currently they're controlled by either infected or bandits. To activate the station, you need to turn on the main switch in the electrical room. Beware, there will be enemies along the way. You'll need to either kill them or avoid them. Sometimes there will be no electricity inside the station. In that case, you need to first need first to locate and activate the backup generators in the generator room. So this is going to unlock a fast travel point at the fish eye. So these, these are nice. Now what did it say? It gave me a tip about Molotovs, didn't it? But it like skipped because of that pop-up. Go ahead and equip a bow. I don't know if we're going to use it. Should we check out, check out the uh, high tech? Let's go ahead and modify it. Um, we'll do spark. Obviously do flame. For the grip. Base damage or durability cost per hit. Plus four damage. I mean, whatever. But to have the weapon last longer. Faux show. And then we'll do the gang leader. Nice. Pimp that weapon out. Alright, what kind of new gear do we have? Anything good? Um, damage resistance infected. So combat XP. Let's put these on. Cause we're about to fight infected. Damage range weapons. No. All right. To the metro station. Actually, we wanted to look at Molotovs. We need alcohol. We need more alcohol. That's what we need. Decoys we could make. Feathers and scraps, fire arrows, you use resin, immunity boosters. Alright, we'll keep out our UV flashlight for now. I have no idea what we're up against. Ooh, do we, can we find crystals in here? That would be amazing. Alright, All right, well we obviously want to go through there. He's awake. We want to try and take him down. Steven? Yeah. Steve just rolled in. He's in the main room with a deck of cards, scrawling his name on the Jokers. Alright, we'll get him to stay there, please. some loot in here. Definitely take this stuff. Whoa. Morphine? Is that something we sell? Legendary valuable? I wonder how much that bad boy is worth. Whoa. Where'd you come from? 
Oxidizers, nice. Side. Well, that's no fun. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Okay, these dudes are awake. I was really hoping that I could grab onto that. I was kind of scared. Don't ask me why I'm staying crouched, because I have no clue. Don't see me. You can't see me. No! Shit, someone sees me. Shit! I'm dead. Are they gonna wake up? Oh, be quiet. Nicholas? I'm in the control room. Please be quiet. Nice. Now just find the switch. No. Fuckers. Close. Can't come in here. <laughs> All right. What do we got in here? Sniper mitts. That looks scary. Nicholas, the switch didn't work. I find the generator. Damn it. There's another way. Up for give me the try? Let's finish this. There should be an electrical room with military generators for a below. Look for an elevator. Maybe you can go down the shaft. To activate some metro stations, you need to activate one or more generators. Okay. What are military generators doing in the metro? Seems the tunnels work great for moving troops around the city. Only first they have to clean the infected out. And to do that, they needed a lot of light. That called for a lot of power. Oh, nice. A UV station. I was gonna say, how the hell do I... Found it! Can I find some more crystals? That'd be dope. Are there gonna be zombies down here? Or just this girl stuff? Okay. That's it? Just some flower? That's lame. Alright, here. Oh, that sucked. That didn't work. Okay. Here? There we go. Turn on this first generator, shall we? Some cigarettes. Take the valuables for sure. On to the second generator. Pop 
power up the metro station now. Yeah, you're fine. No crystals? That sucks. That doesn't sound good. Who wants some? I think we already called it boss. Metro station. Up we go. the two-hander for now. Alright, all the loot will disappear. That's fine. Wow. Achievement unlocked. Nice. We unlocked the fast travel point. Dope. Nicholas, it worked. Generators are up and running. So the intel wasn't some booze-induced fantasy. Now get back up here. I got some beers on ice with your name on them. Hell yeah. Let's go. And an inhibitor. Which allows us to get... Let's get some health. Even it out. Six and six. Not quite to level 14. That's fine. Paintball? Damage with two-handers, resistance during the day, and electricity resistance? Interesting. How about gloves? Um, recognition time, survivor sense duration, survivor sense range. I mean, those aren't bad to have. Alright, how do we get out of here? Probably this way. Alright, let's see if, um... Well, let's return to Nicholas. And then... See about Steve. That's cool that we unlocked this fast travel point, though. If we look on the map... Can we see any other metro stations? I don't see any. Okay. Oh, good. Where's this little, uh, zipline thing? There it is. Medicine. Won't take that. It'd be cool if you could modify two-handed weapons. All right, Nicholas. See what you gotta say, boss. I'm impressed. Honestly, I didn't expect you to go all the way down. I finished what I start. Luan was right. You're one tenacious son of a bitch. What else can I do you for? How do you know so much about military installations? I'm a bartender. I'd get GRE guys in here, incognito of course. Military brass trying to lie low, even big shop ministers of whatever. After a few generously poured shots, they all had stories to tell. I learned about the Metro generators from the skittish guy in glasses. The retired history teacher type, all buttoned down. Needed to spill his guts to someone. Later, they hanged him for war crimes. Wow. Where'd that chemical gunk I ran into come from? It was created to fast forward the infection to the terminal stage. Basically kill the infected with a form of premature aging. Wasn't supposed to have any effect on the healthy or recently bitten, like you and me. 
but it didn't work out that way. Of course. So that's why my biomarker goes crazy when I get near it. Yep, but that's not the worst of it. Some say the military knew how lethal the stuff really was. Suited them to finish off every last one of us. Huh. Why? Only the colonel knows, but the old bastard never leaves his fortress. But if you really want to know the truth about the GRE, just check out their labs. They're scattered all over town. Lord, the shit that must have gone down there. Got any other work? Well, you could join up with the carriers. Especially if you want a crash course on the city. The carriers? Can you tell me more? The carriers guild. They're an elite band of messengers delivering letters and packages all over the city. Kind of like pilgrims, except inside the walls. Oh, and they're not outlaws who wander around looking for work. No offense, bro. I'm taken. They know every square That's inch what of the I was city. Gonna say. You'll learn your way around in no time working for them. Their headquarters is on downtown court. Inside the metro station that bears the same name. Here, take this letter to Driscoll. He heads up the guild. Solid guy. He'll give you a shot. You can trust him. Driscoll? Thanks, Nicholas. That's a Stranger Things name. I gotta go. Thanks, Aiden. That's cool, though. With skills like that, guild. you'll find plenty to do around here. But watch what you get yourself into. Yes, sir. Bet you wonder where all the guns went, right? Seized a man from to kill a bunch of people in March 2024. All right, God parkour skill. What do we want to get? Tap space bar twice. Slide. Sure. Tap twice. That's easy enough to remember. Alright. Morphine, that is a valuable. Now, journal, we want to find Steve. Jolly was certain that Elena, her father's new girlfriend, was a Black Widow, taking her beauty- Oh, right, okay. We gotta find Josh as well. Let's find Steve first. Are you Steve? Oh, don't act so offended. I was paying your tits a compliment. Oh. How about I pay your balls a compliment with my shoe? Everything alright? There you are. You aren't gonna admit it and dick for brains here starts hitting on me. Sorry, my dude. I, I was just making sure your girl was safe. So where is your boyfriend? At the bar. Buying me a beer. Go ahead. Buy yourself one, too. Okay. Haven't seen you here before. Where are you from? Nowhere that matters. I'm looking for a friend. You ran across a guy named Josh. Oh, okay. Regular, I hear. Rings a bell. What do you want with him? Uh, just swap stories of our love lives. Could swap a few of those myself. But sure, if I see him, I'll let you know. Take care. Hey, your beer. Okay. No worries. I got it. Living the high life, aren't you? I heard you mention Josh. Try the roof, man. The way he smacks folks around, he knows he's not wanted in the bar. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Actually, I was trying to find Steve. It's a shame he's such a booze hound. You look like a Steve. Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. Oh, thanks, brother. Good seeing you. Ah, uh, you're probably Steve, huh? So, this card belonged to you? <laughs> well, it sure does. Where'd you find it? How may I serve you? Well, you can serve me by telling me what you know of Bart and Andy. Never heard of them. Even if I had, I take client confidentiality very seriously. About to get beat up. And I take finding them very seriously. How seriously? Stop fucking with me. Well, for an exchange, I don't want to involve the PKs. I don't want to do it. You want something for the info? Say it. Wasn't asking for charity. Uh, 
Well, that changes everything. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what you need to know. But? But you gotta do something for me in return. First. That's fine. Yeah, like what? Like? Oh, I don't know. Oh, give me a sec. <laughs> I want to come up with something good. If we're just gonna waste my time, I... Uh, hold up, hold up. <sighs> okay, almost got it. Uh, uh, yes, 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 I know what you need to do. <laughs> you gotta sing. Excuse me? You look like you got a set of pipes on you. Let's do your belt one out. Ballad, upbeat number, doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Ooh, I know, rap. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> if you want me to tell you about fart, then you'll do it. That's ridiculous. Come on, just rap, bro. Judging by your reaction, might be therapeutic. <laughs> you got the music in you. Let it out. You can't be serious. Come on, Aiden. Last chance to get what you want. Rap like no one's listening. Although everyone in this place most certainly will be. Yeah, we're gonna rap. Fine. I'll do it. Is this gonna be so cringy? Wait. Rap for Steve. That's what I want to do. Oh, oh shit. Alright, let's hear Aiden rap. Let's see if you can lay it down. Talk to me, bro. Talk to him, bro. We dissing Steve. Let me rap a little story about a punk named Steve. Scrawny little weasel like you wouldn't believe. He's a conniver, a lowly ass driver. Oh man. Looking at his face, he makes me want to heave. Hey, stop being so dumb and stay. All right. Let's talk about the people that I've met in this town. Some are good, some are bad, and plenty are down. We got those who are scheming and those who are dreaming. Yeah. I hope it's in your love, not toxic waste that I drown. <laughs> Where's Luan at, man? We need to be rapping about her. So what happens if we diss Steve again? I say ass, you say what? I say ass, you say what? I say ass, you say what? I say ass, what? That's right. That's wrong, dude. Look at the bros. Alright, we just gonna go with worldview again. We are all survivors in this town without pity. Some of it is ugly, but there's plenty that's pretty. Day or night, every weather, we're in this together. Yeah, it's a lesson I've learned as a pilgrim in the city. Testify! Testify! Not bad, Aiden, my man. Some of your rhymes were busted, but eh, nice try. Come sit back down. Okay. They was feeling it, though. The crowd got into it. <laughs> they, was, they was bumping. That was funny. Bro, like, come on now. That's what I call an unforgettable performance. Gotta admit, when I asked you to sing, I was yanking your chain. <laughs> but that was perfect. You're gonna tell me what I need to know, or I'm... Oh, right away. <laughs> no further delay. I thought it was fun. Fine. <laughs> your Bobsy twins hired me to make sure they and their kid got to the Colonel safely. Paid well. Easy job, really. But we ran into a peacekeeper patrol along the way. Nasty bunch. Your boys freaked the hell out, worried about the kid, and had me leave them right then and there. I mean, what do I care? They paid me up front. Anything else? Nope, that's it. You sure? Believe me, I'd love to drop another quarter in the jukebox for one more song. <laughs> but I'm being honest here. That's all I know. All right, then. Tell me where you left them. Um, there's an old coffee shop. Not far from here. By the off ramp from the E12. It's by a metro stop. You can figure it out from there. Okay. Got a little rap session going on. Alright, let's go. How far is this? Because the quest for Josh is right here, too. Heard? People's um, that's decently far. 
so let's go ahead and track this one about Josh back Aiden you've traveled through the outlet how do we get here hear a bottle smash you can be dead sure <laughs> I feel like there's a much better way to do this. But we're doing it the parkour way. That's how we're doing it. Oh, uh, we, uh, we're too high? Oh, y'all, I almost forgot how to pull out the glider. That would have sucked. Would have died right there. Whoa. Whoa. What's up? Don't fall, I want to loot you. Oh shit! That scared me. No, stop glitching. I don't really want to fight you right there. Kind of annoying. Why are y'all just chilling by this ramp anyways? Masters. Okay. So, dude be chilling by the rooftops. In here? Open this bad boy, shall we? Okay. Whoa. Hey, who are you? You're Josh. I want to talk to you about Elena. Elena sent you. She suck her latest cash cow dry already? Or maybe, maybe she wants to see me? Nobody sent me. I hear you know a thing or two about Elena. Important things. Yeah, right. You want to fuck her like all the rest of no, us. No, not it. Now get out of here before I lose my temper and rearrange your face. I'm trying to listen to my tunes. <laughs> Oh, 
Taking all the infected trophies, baby. Take the throwing knives too. Molotov? Yes, sir. Thanks. Medicine. Throwing knife. Thanks, boss. And I'll talk. What secrets of Elena's are you keeping? All right. We hooked up not long after she lost her husband. Third chump in a row to kick it after being with her. You see? Spend money on her like it was going out of style. And then it was just gone. Clearing my head real quick and I realized, poison. She poisoned her former lovers and she was doing it to me. Poison? What kind? Got her own secret recipe. Apparently passed down from her old lady. Now, from what I hear, you just as easily had alcohol poisoning. You think I don't know the difference? It's booze that saved me. I'm convinced. Knocked out that damn poison and saved my fucking life. Elena's a goddamn witch. She's got a whole stash of this shit in her apartment. Keeps it in these little orange boxes. Go check out her place on the ship. Okay, I'll take a look. Okay. Wow. All right, then. But before we do anything else, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. If y'all enjoyed, make sure to leave a thumbs up. If y'all did not, make sure to leave a thumbs down. And I hope to see y'all in the next episode. Until then, peace out, y'all.